video, we'll be learning how to find the least common denominator, or for short, the LCD, and we'll also be making equivalent fractions. This slide is a review. It tells us that we have two fractions with different denominators. And when we have fractions with uncommon denominators or different denominators, unfortunately, we can't add these fractions. It would be like trying to add strawberries and oranges, which are two different things. So we need a method to help us change our denominators or change our fractions so that the two denominators are the same and that we, and then once they're the same, we can add them. So the method we're going to use to do that is called least common denominator. Least common denominator sounds a lot like something we've already learned, which is least common multiple. First thing we need to remember is when we're listing out the multiples, we need to have, we need to start with the actual number that's given to us. That is part of the multiple. So six is a multiple of six. I personally like to start by listing out the multiples of the larger number because as I'm listing those out, sometimes I think, oh, six could go into one of those numbers. So listing out the multiples of eight, eight times two is 16, eight times three is 24, eight times four is 32, I could have already stopped though because I know in my head that 6 goes into 24. So now if I start listing out my multiples of 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, I see that I have a match. So the least common multiple of 6 and 8 is going to be 24. Okay, so what is least common denominator or LCD? So this is very similar to least common multiple, except we're just looking at the denominators of fractions. So I'm just looking at, in these two fractions, 9 and 3. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to list out the multiples of 9 and list out the multiples of 3 until I find the least common multiple, and that's going to become my least common denominator. Or in other words, it's the smallest denominator that we could put in these fractions that these two numbers have in common. So I'm going to list my my um, two numbers and start figuring out the multiples. Again, I like to start with the larger number. And if I go three, six, nine, it's actually a quick common denominator here because nine was the number that matched. So what we found out is that for the fraction two ninths and one third, the least common denominator, so the number that we could put in that denominator that would be the smallest for both of these would be nine. Let's try for 12 and 8. Again, I'm going to start with the larger number. The reason I start with the larger is I've already hit the multiple that I know 8 can go into. So once I start listing out my multiples of 8, I'm going to hit that 24 right away. So the smallest denominator or the least common denominator for 7 twelfths and 5 eighths is 24.